Well, hello everyone. I had Serial 386SX. What do we got here? Something that's not too common in 2023. We have a completed Pentium 2 slash Pentium 3 era system. Or it's darn close to it anyway. Uh, we have uh, a CRT that I'm going to guess is about 15 inch display. Uh, we have the original mouse. I am almost certain the original keyboard and the original speakers. Uh, co-worker's wife wanted to get rid of it because it was just sitting taking up space. I said I would take it. I did nothing else. If I end up throwing it out, at least we'll have a good video out of it. And maybe some stuff to put on archive.org. But yeah, if you remember these gaudy looking towers and Provided that no upgrades have been done whatsoever. Uh, it's got the Intel Celeron processor, 466 megahertz, 64 megs of RAM. I'm going to guess it could probably go up to 256. We have an 8.4 gig hard drive. We got some uh, expansion slots. No idea what they are. We got a modem. I'm going to guess there is an AGP slot on this system. We got a CD-ROM, which I am to believe that this is original as well. Floppy, you know, this is the works back then. And some stuff that I don't know what that is. So, yeah. And an introduction to my insanity of mess. And this is why I believe almost everything is original. You got your PS2 port. You got a couple of USB 1.1 parallel uh, joystick port. And modem. Yeah, there's a modem in there, I promise. And we got a power supply. Now, the CRT I did plug in, and it seems like it's doing what it's supposed to do so far. So my next course of action is to plug in the tower itself, uh, trying to find a power cord that reaches. And we're doing this a little bit freehand more than we normally do, but that's just the way it works. So you're going to see a little bit more of the mess than you normally do. And I will try to, I know for sure that I'm not keeping this system around for a long period of time. Might offer to some collector that may want a completed set. Um, let's see, let's plug her in. That's, uh oh. Sounds like the hard drive is dead. We're getting nothing on the display. So I think our computer may have some issues right off the bat. So we might get some troubleshooting uh, in on this one. But before we do that, I actually also want to show you what else this computer came with. Uh, uh, they included a few games. Uh, the Sims Hot Date, Crime Scene Investigation, more of The Sims. Uh, we have the recovery desks for this unit, so that might be really good because uh, this hard drive is dead. He also gave me the uh, an HP DeskJet 612 series uh, driver disc. Uh, we got a user's guide, and uh, we got a joke in a sleeve called Microsoft Works. Yes, when, anybody knows Microsoft doesn't work? Oh, hold on, we got one more desk here. And end carton 99. So now we got that out of the way. I'm teetering towards, uh, let's see if the CRT works first. Uh, so uh, we'll need to find something with a VGA port on it to determine that. Uh, and that should be the easier of the two things to diagnose. Uh, in this basement, there's gotta be something nearby. Uh, what about the, the Green Book 2768 possibly has one? If you're regular to this channel, you've seen those in action many times, and indeed we can test it with that. I just don't know. Uh, the display book may look like crap, but that is uh, 
just the way it's going to be. So we have a test computer that we can do something with. And according to the last person that had it, uh, this did still this was stored in a dry temperature controlled environment. So we should have that going for us. And uh, we got a reflection. That's just the light in the back, of course. And at this point, I have nothing on the CRT. Oh, yes, we do. CRT just turned on. And it would appear that the CRT is just fine from what I could gather. Uh, according to my customer or co-worker wife, if you will, this uh, has not been turned on in 20 years. Neither the CRT nor the computer. And, oh my goodness, uh, yeah. Just, uh, everybody wants to see a good joke. Oh, there we go. It does say Windows 10 Pro. Awesome. Okay. Okay. Let's see if we can expand this just a wee bit. Yes. Awesome. So here's your joke of the day right there. We have Windows 10 on a CRT. Looks fine. Uh, let's see if we can get this above. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, hold on. We got... I'm trying to get this... Uh... Gonna line it up just right. I think that's good enough for now. Okay, anyway, so we know that the CRT itself does work. I I know we got the line in the screen just as the way CRTs are, but it actually looks pretty good. So I'm happy with that result. So now we're going to do a little bit of a magic of video editing moments, and we are going to take this computer apart and see what we can do with it. So let me get the computer on the desk and see if we can find anything that's glaring. And there... You have it in all your wonderful glory. This is the inside of the computer. Uh, the cover, it was just three screws and plastics and all slid right out. This is one of those unfortunate designs in my opinion, just uh, just because the power supply is right there, the CPU's plugging all its heat into it. I'm not really a big fan of that design, but uh, you know, it, it was the go-go 90s, I guess, so. This is what we got to work with. So, I don't see any caps that are obviously blown, but that doesn't mean that the caps are good. This is a this is a consumer grade computer, so yeah, anything's possible. So let's uh, I like to get this power supply moved out of the way before I really divulge into any real troubleshooting. Even. Even if I don't see any bad caps, unless I find and don't find an all obvious culprit, I may just uh, uh, take it upon myself to try and recap this board in the hopes of restoring it, because that's, uh, I don't know if this is at the beginning of capacitor plague or if this is right before it, but uh, either way, capacitors are going out, even if they're not in uh, any particularly plagued form. see how do we come out you want to come out I know you do want to come out for me uh, we got a very tightly packed case here unfortunately but uh, I know you can't see much of anything I'm doing at the moment but uh, rest assure you we will try to be better yeah. it's been a very long time since I tore into a case of this variety Uh, you know what? Even before I do that, uh, let's do a little bit of a common sense thing. So let's plug the CD-ROM back in. Let's take the modem out first. That's going to be our first course of action because, uh, generally speaking, you try to do the simple stuff first and then, then you move on to the more complicated stuff. Ow! Hi! I don't know if you can see that. Uh... You know, I've worked on computers for 20 plus years in my life, and I don't think I've ever been cut by a case until tonight. 
Yeah, maybe, maybe I think there was some other watch assist or some other piece of junk case that I may have cut myself on, but this one got me right away. Ow! Uh, don't get too excited. I just turned the TV on. And I gotta get some power source in my little uh, dealie here, and uh, let's see what we can do. You know, the hard drive isn't doing stupid stuff this time, so maybe we corrected that problem. I hope, maybe. The computer is not posting, so I'm going to guess that it wasn't just a modem problem. So let's uh, turn it off. And I really want to get this sucker out of here, but I don't exactly know how to... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on a minute. I think we just got it out. Or at least we're... Let's uh, unplug the CD-ROM. There we go. Get that on. Everything's a maze in these old cases. Everything's wide open on the new ones, but uh, there's your audio cable that just uh, got tangled in the mix, and uh, let's get that out of the way. I'm just going to take it out for now, and uh, yeah, so there is uh, that. I'm going to unplug all the peripherals. We're going to go a little bit uh, extreme. And we'll see what we can come up with, if anything, really. And all the peripherals are going to be disconnected at this time that I could tell. So we should pretty much be down now to the power supply itself and the system board. And I know you can't see that, but... It is what it is. So let's, uh... See what this thing can do. Nothing. Holy lot of nothing. Yeah, this thing... Is dead. There is a possibility that RAM needs to be reseated. So let's try that next. But that computer is dead. Oh my god. And this is a uh, 90s cases, everyone. This is the epitome of 90s cases. You got everything is so crammed in that you have no room to work. I don't know if I have any RAM for this, but... <sighs> you don't like this case. I really don't like this case. Hold on a minute here. Uh, is there a possibility that it does what I think it does? Maybe? Or am I going to struggle with this like an idiot? I wonder if this whole thing slides out. I don't see every indication it does. So no, let's try it out. Because there's screws all around the back here. And it looks like this is just one big bracket that slides out. And you know what? I'm going to try it. We got nothing to lose. All right. It seems highly ridiculous, but it's been a very long time since I worked on a computer like this. And, well, it's supposed to slide out. At least it would appear that I would supposed to anyway. I don't know. Mm -hmm. There's two more screws over here on the other side. So maybe, just maybe, we get those out and the whole thing will slide out. And I'll talk, show you what I'm talking about in a little bit here, as soon as I...
I don't think HP is that proactive, especially on their consumer grade stuff as they never were. But who knows? Nah, who am I kidding? So it looks like this whole thing just slides out, but. Yeah, that's not sliding out. Okay, too good to be true, but uh, I've had to explore that possibility that this would slide out. So. Ow, ow, ow. I almost think this does slide out though, because how would you get to the system board otherwise? Eh, we may have some offline experimenting to do. Maybe there's something in the way. Maybe the power supply is part of the problem. I'm not entirely sure. But, uh. <clears throat> Come on. You are miserable. All right, PC 100. I don't know if I have any of that on hand, but I'm curious now that I have no RAM in it, is it going to just complain or is it going to do the same thing? I think it's just going to do the same things. I don't know if there's beep codes with this or not, but. Okay, that answers that question. So it does appear to be detecting RAM. So that's good. So. Now we gotta get the system board out, and I don't know how to entirely do that. I still think that the system board slides out on a tray. I still believe that. Let's get all this crap out of here. If this thing needs a recap, there's a lot of, lots of caps to replace. I doubt it's going to be that simple. I'm going to see if we can... Yeah, that, that there's no way this doesn't. But, uh, okay, so let's uh, show you all exactly what we got going on here. I'm almost certain that I don't have any PC100 RAM or 133. But yeah, if you look at this closely... You notice there's an outline through the whole... Oh. Well, I could see three reasons why that was never going to work. But it, it appears that this whole thing just slides out. But it's not ever going to with three screws in the way. Let's get this out. Wait, shall I? I legitimately don't see how that would come out. See, you rookies today are building computers with all the fancy lights. You missed out on the dark ages or golden ages, depending on what uh, point of view you're coming from. All right, so definitely looser now that we did that it's bloody power supply though Ugh. so I don't know if this thing opens like a book and he's supposed to be able to hold on a minute let's I have a ah it does aha I was sort of right so let's uh good that's good I was able to get the thing out I don't know what that blue and white one does. Oh, yes I do, it's a fan. Okay, that's cool. So here is our system board in all of its glory. And uh, I don't know that I have a system board for this, so. How you go? It actually does come out as one big assembly once you get all the screws out. I don't think I had to replace those three, but yeah, those three did not have to come out, but that's all right, so. Uh, oh yeah, sorry. 
I don't see anything obviously wrong with it though. I mean, it, it could be that these caps have just gone through the sands of time and that's it. You got a lot of caps if that is the case. Holy mother of Mary, we do have a lot of caps. Not entirely sure if this one's worth pursuing. Uh, let's see, we got, uh, well, first of all, since you don't, you're seeing an idiot count by himself here, let's, uh, let's fix that problem. Let's get this tower out of the way, or what's left of it out of the way. It's a Seagate hard drive, if you can't tell already. I had a guess for Max Tour, but as far as a uh, modern day history goes, same difference. But let's go do a, a cap count. We have three smaller ones uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, 1, 2, 3. I don't know if I counted that one. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's about fifty capacitors on here, so we got a workout for us if that is truly the problem. And I'm looking here. I'm gonna take this off camera to go a little bit better in my light. I don't see any that are obviously spilling their guts right now, but that doesn't mean that they're not. And let's see if there's any branding on these. There is absolutely no branding. Oh, LXB. Uh, SMS capacitors, a lot of SMS. So I think it's a cheaper capacitor variety. I was really hoping that this system was workable. But uh, let's see here. If we walk to the old box of memories here, we'll see if we have any PC100. It's very possible that this sticker brand is just bad. I don't know if this board can take ECC memory or not. Uh, it's a 256. I don't know what's all in my little box of historical memories, if you will. So, you and I are going to be kind of uh, learning together on this one, but. Uh, I do have some memory. Uh, uh, that definitely ain't gonna work. Uh, we got, oh, we have 512. We have 256. Uh, doesn't say if it's ECC or not, so I'll put that in the old baby pile. We got some 256. 512, I'm not even gonna try it. I'm sure the system's gonna puke if I even try that. Uh, more 512. 128 ECC, more ECC, and possibly a 256 that may work. Oh crap, maybe not. I think it's ECC. I think all my SD RAM, unless I have another system that I just don't see, I may just have to uh, send it. I might just receipt that stick and see what happens. And uh, where's that power supply go? Can't rule out the possibility of a bad power supply either. But I don't think it is. Let's plug that in. Okay. Oh no. Oh, there was a That's a brilliant design. Not whining about it yet.
Oh yeah, let's get plugged in. Alright, so we're still got no signal. Oh, we have a signal! Ho ho! Look at that! Apologize at the camera angle. But uh we have life. So after all of that, it would appear that we had a bad stick of RAM. I am now going to look this up and see if we can pop this puppy to 512. I'm also curious to see if, if reseating this memory will fix its problem, but this is a very good sign. And if I do reassemble this, it's going to be offline likely. I'm sure this video is way too long already. So let's try to reseat this memory. Maybe, just maybe. I am relieved that I don't have an immediate recap on my hands. Yeah, we just reseated the RAM. Why don't you look at that? Look at that! That's a win. All right. So, magic of video editing. We're gonna put this back together. As you can tell, it needs a CMOS battery. You know, it's the CR2032. Nothing special there. And we'll see if we can get this thing to actually do anything uh, beyond it being out on a test bench in this way. So, stay tuned. Okie doke. Let's uh. Give it another try in its semi-assembled state. This is the worst design I've ever seen in a case. Eh, maybe not the worst, but eh. it was a very questionable design. Right, let's just look at that. I know you can't see most of the screen, but if this is actually going to post properly. Oh, shoot. It did post properly. Durr. Uh, we will uh, uh, keep our takes in here. Uh oh. Turn the computer on. We see big blue. We see big blue. We have good news. So, more magic of video editing moments. We're going to put everything back together and we will see if it still boots. Okay, so we are in the process of, I know you can't see it, but putting some of the screw back into the system since test number, I don't know what test that was anymore, but uh, it doesn't really matter. I, all tests are proven to be successful so far. So, I'm putting all the screws back into the case. By the time we get through that song of dance, we should have about three screws left. Eh, maybe. Because I think something is still out of kilter, but I really don't care at the moment. And okay, so we're down to, uh, once we get the third power supply screw in, we will be down to four screws. Which makes me think I missed one somewhere along the way. Oh, yes. Uh, I did miss a few. Okay, so this madness started when I tried to put the modem back in. Ah, sorry. Uh, let's see, I'll do the best I can here. But, uh... Oddly enough, I still have one screw left. Makes me think. I missed one. Don't know where, but I missed one. Let's 
doing okay, so it's fine. Okay, so. Get the other final screw in for the expansion slots. We got that in. And for whatever reason, I have a screw left over. I don't know why. And uh, we're going to find out in about 15 seconds if I care or not. And I uh, can't find an obvious place where that screw is supposed to go. So my answer to that is I do not care. So let's plug it in one more time in a more assembled, semi-assembled state. And uh, we should go same drill. We should see blue followed by an error. We have blue. All right, fantastic. So let's get the cover back on. This could be fun. barrel of fun actually. Well, I don't know that it entirely lines up. No it does not. Let's say that it doesn't. No it doesn't. Okay, let's try that again. Nope, I think we got it that time. Okay, good. That wasn't, oh, well, I should keep my mouth shut. I'm gonna keep my mouth shut. Now we're gonna get the screws back on and, oh baby, hold on. So unless there's a screw underneath this computer somewhere, I think we got it exactly right. Ain't that wonderful. So, to answer the question of, was this computer actually opened before, the answer is yes. Uh, there was a, uh, one of those uh, Geek Squad stickers on it, for one, and uh, two, the warranty sticker was already broken into, so uh, I'm going to go with it. Absolutely was. Uh, I am not a virgin, or the uh, technician person moron, if you will, whoever you want to call me, that took the virginity of that seal. Hey. And you know what? Let's get the keyboard and mouse and play here. I will not do speakers at this time. I'm not going to put the CRT back on because I know that does work. At least not yet, anyway. And I'm not sure if Windows 98 is going to detect the... Uh, I do, uh, because this is an HDMI TV without native VGA, I have an HDMI to VGA adapter uh, being in use in this thing, and it does require power, so... The power of being USB is adequate for the purposes of this uh, unit. So uh, here we go. Computer is on. I think you can see most of it, if not all of it. There you go. No shenanigans. All right, now F1. So according to this, it's 1990. Let's party like it's 1990 because we got a 1990 style computer that's working like gangbusters here. All right, so I don't know how to, oh, you know what? I should pay attention. We got plus and minus, baby. 11, 10, 9, 8. It is at 8.06 p.m. Oh, oh just kidding. Uh, there we go. Ah, we're gonna call it 8.07. Good enough. On to the next. So it is August. What is today? Is it 21st? 
2023. You know, and I did kind of did a dumb here because I didn't actually see. Oh, I didn't test the floppy drive. I didn't test the CD-ROM. I didn't do any of that. But we are got the boot order uh, is fine by me. Um, we can indeed test this, uh, provided I find uh, some uh, discats we can uh, do said test with. I really don't want to roach a DOS disc over this, so we are going to roach our good friend, the Compact LTE Elite Floppy. It'll complain that it's not for the system, but it'll at least, if it tells us that, then we know we're in the right direction. Like that exactly. Hold on a minute. That is very peculiar, but uh, let's see here. That's something we're gonna have to address. Let's try this disc. There we go. So it may be I don't know what's wrong with the other disc, but eh, we can re we can always make more of those discs later. That's why I use that disc. Disc utility. What in the wide world? Uh, well. Okay, this bothers me a little bit. Let's try to insert the disc. Really wanted, I really wanted to say it's not for this computer or something stupid like that, but uh, there we go. I was told that the uh, system itself was not used in over 20 years until tonight, so that there is a possibility that there may be some dust. Yeah, so. Okay, that's funny. All right, this got IO air. Well, whatever. Let's get into Windows. Now, I will cut the video off if there is obvious data that I don't want the world to see. And there we go, Windows 98. So it's the original OS. for it to do its thing here. Poppy. No, we don't know any Carol Beermeisters. Oh, okay. That's funny. This was used back when uh, with Frontier dial-up, and uh, yeah, so VGA to HDMI is just a regular old plug-and-play monitor, according to Windows 98 Second Edition. Okay, nothing crazy here. Although I suspect that the printer is not original to this system. I could be wrong. I'd be very much be interested to hear if that are... Oh, here we go. Well, maybe. But, uh, yeah, that would be an HP DeskJet 612C right there. Uh, this one, I'm not exactly sure if it's complete or not, but that would be the printer in question. Holy moly, you people, out your mind. 
I found one for only low, low price of 184 USD. Color ink jet printer not tested, used with power core. Okay, that's a little bit more reasonable. A little bit too good to be true, but uh, you know what? If I actually could find. Ooh, is it from Habitat for Humanity Lincoln? Okay. So I found another printer from the Habitat of Humanity in Lincoln. I'm going to guess it's uh, Lincoln, Nebraska. Yes. So, yeah, if you want a, a vintage printer, uh, you just gotta buy one from Lincoln, Nebraska. If I can find an ink for it, that gives me a great idea for a YouTube video. But uh, uh, back to the hand, uh, back to the issue at hand here. Uh, we have McCrappy on the screen. Uh, purchase support plan to secure fast uh, or the 200 viruses are blah 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 well we don't have no viruses at this point that we're going to concern ourselves with but we have the wonderful McCrappy V shield uh, we got display capabilities and I don't think Windows has any significant uh... yeah that was Ooh, it did it holy cow it did it but it looks terrible so let's undo that Let's go back to 7 to 20. It still looks like puke, but whatever. That could be the adapter I'm using, too. It is a China special, so who knows. And a rather intriguing drive letter for the CD-ROM. It's a M drive, not a, a D drive of the first available. Uh, who knows if they... I'm going to put this back to what it originally was. It seemed like it worked okay over that, so let's, uh, let's do that. Yeah, it looks like a lot, lot nicer on 800 by 600 and not all fuzzy, but uh, yeah, so we have an M drive. Let's see if it works. Ooh. Uh, my guess is it may not read a disc, but uh, let's see if we can. I'm putting a disc in right now on Office 97 Pro disc. And let's see if she reads. I was reading it. Okay. So there you go. I wonder, now I'm curious, uh, one other thing before we end this. So this is, uh, other than the few games you see on there towards the bottom, I believe that all of this is 100% uh, came with the system. Even came with Quicken. Microsoft Money, all the works crap is on here. Yes, you could, I guess you could say, huh, tell us how you really feel. But yeah, it, Microsoft Works didn't really work. We got Shockwave, we got uh, Real Player. Ooh, ooh. We got The Sims, CSI, and QuickTime. So yeah, this is this computer has really not been used much, and she made it work. So I don't see a way to make any recovery discs. Backweb, Hotbar. Oh my god. Let's see if this one has the computer herpes. I'm, I'm genuinely curious at this point. Uh, nobody cares. Is it going to let me get past this? That's going to be the question here. Uh, we'll stay offline. So this thing does have computer aids to some degree. Yeah, it's not that much on here, believe it or not, so. I am curious if the... Let's test the modem. I, I'm curious. Palette I8086SX has the ability to test a modem. So bear with me for one second while I plug in a modem. And uh, we are going to see if we can create a new... 
dial-up connection. Uh, uh oh, why did you do that? That's not very nice. Uh, let's try that again. I may have can cancel. It's what I hope I did. And uh, let's try it out for size. And we will make you default. We will always dial my default connection because of reasons. Modem appears to be connecting. I've never had that happen twice before, but that doesn't mean that we're smoked yet. Uh, let's see. Let's. Dale. There we go. Now, do bear in mind, my setup at home here is VoIP. So, I don't know... Yeah, so this is connecting about 33 kilobits. Maybe a little less. So now we got a new icon. We got Open Shock Machine. Woo! Oh, dear God. Let's try the hot bar. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I don't even know if this is going to let me in anymore, but we're, we're going to try it. We're, we're this far. Yeah, that's kind of what I suspected is that it wasn't that... Uh, uh, the old net.com. Will that work? I may be remembering that website wrong, so do bear with me. So, yeah, there you go. We are on the World of Wide Web in 2023 with a Walmart special, Hewlett Packard, I suspect a Walmart special. Let's do it. You are going to go to HP in the year 2000. This is about where this computer was made. It's trying to do something. After this, we'll pretty much end the video. Still loading. I, I don't know if... Oh, yeah, there's a progress bar at the bottom. I know I don't have the entire screen... While we're waiting for that, we will uh, go to my computer here, system properties. I want to see if there's any abnormalities that way. No, there shouldn't be. I wouldn't think there would be. Yep, everything looks like it should, as it should. It's a Samsung CD drive. Type 0 1 Intel graphics chipset. Uh, standard floppies. Uh, Intel hardware there. Keyboard. The modem is uh, pretty much a standard. It's a soft modem and it connected. I'm kind of impressed by that. So VGA to HDMI. Dial up. And Crystal Audio Kodak. Okay. So, let's close that. Oh, we have HP. It is Windows 98. But, anywho, that's going to be it for this video. Um, 
If you have any questions or comments or constructive criticism, as always, you may leave them in the comment section as you wish. And if you like the video, I very much would appreciate a like. If you dislike it, uh, please hit that dislike button twice. That really sends a message. I will not do any more of that stuff again if I get two dislikes. Once that enough. And here we go. This this is peak 90s right here. This is this really is. This is peak 90s. Active desktop recovery is the definition of 1998. So, yeah, uh, thank you for watching. I will probably sell this computer to somebody for very, very cheap if they want a complete set. I pretty much have a complete set, and as you can tell, it is functional at this point. So, uh, a little uh, memory reseeding did the trick there. And who knows, I might buy that printer from the Habitat for Humanity in Lincoln, Nebraska. And that might give us another video. I don't know. We'll see. But again, thank you for watching. Have a good one.